We're back with another meat video. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so about a week or two ago, I uploaded the first video in the meat series. You guys loved it. You really did enjoy it, and I definitely did enjoy making it. I thought it was awesome to go ahead and crack down on some clickbait and some gummy tactics used by Ghost Ninja. In that video, we cracked down on his clickbait and him stretching the video to 10 minutes to try to make more money, and we talked about pretty much all of that. Okay, so I put up a poll on my community post. I tallied up every single person's response on the last video of who you guys want to meet in the next video and obviously you know who you're gonna meet in today's video if you look at the title that's who it is but let me explain myself so I put up a poll at the time I'm reading this it has 40,000 votes and the person in first is Pack-a-Puncher you guys might be asking why isn't this video on Pack-a-Puncher why is it on Fortnite clip channels well the reason is I looked at Pack-a-Puncher's videos and they're not that bad the only thing I saw was Ghoul Trooper returns in Fortnite that's like the same thing that Ghost Ninja did did. I'm pretty sure they just bounced ideas off of each other trying to get at least some views and the thumbnail is That doesn't look real at all. I don't know why anyone would click on that video That's like the really only bad thing about his channel He clickbaits a little bit and he has 10 minute videos galore The reason I didn't do that is because that's exactly what was the problem with ghost ninja I don't want to make two videos back to back talking about stretching to 10 minutes and clickbait even though you know Fortnite clip channels have 10 minute videos and they do clickbait but we're gonna get into a lot worse things later on in this video so that's why i didn't do pack a puncher and why i'm doing fortnite clips and without further ado let's have you guys go ahead and meet some of these you know famous clip channels so if we are going to talk about some fortnite clip channels we have to start at the big brute of them all the leader of pretty much every single fortnite you know clip channel it's going to be bcc trolling now i'm sure you've heard of them they have been on the map for a while they used to post call of duty and i'm pretty sure bcc BCC stands for Best Cod Comedy. Once they started posting Fortnite, I bet they said BCC stands for Best Comedy Clip. Their description says BCC Trolling is a great channel where you will find the most creative and visually attractive content. That means their videos are good. Let's look at them. Okay, so this one stood out to me. World record, 21 kills in 5 seconds. Fortnite funny fails and funny moments. Okay, I'm gonna click on this video. I really want to see 21 kills in 5 seconds. Let's see this. Oh, okay, so it took me about 2 minutes and 38 seconds to find what I was looking for. I clicked on the video to see 21 kills in 5 seconds, but seemingly took me 2 minutes to find what I clicked on it for. I mean, the first clip was somebody doing a trick shot. That's cool, I guess. I didn't want to see that. Now, I know that's what they're going for. I mean, it does say Fortnite funny fails and WTF moments, but still, don't put something in your title and thumbnail if you're going to make me sit through content. Now, after I saw the world record 21 kills in 5 seconds, I'm probably going to be done with the video. By watching this, I don't really have a reason to watch the rest of it. It's literally just other people's clips with the same background music every single time. I've been through this plenty of times. I know what's going to happen. It's just going to be funny moments I guess there's no real reason for me to watch it after I see what I clicked on I clicked on the video for that so I'm gonna exit visually appealing content that was just other people's clips if I want to see that I should probably go watch their stream not very visually appealing. Good try, though. I want to talk about a channel that seemingly appears in my recommended at all times, and it says Kodak WK viewers. Watch this. Now, it seemed like a good video. I mean, I have faith in you guys. It said you guys click on these type of videos a lot, and you watch this channel. So I was like, okay, I want to see what you guys are watching. So I clicked on it, but then I had to back out. It seemed weird. The title reads, 5 minutes and 48 seconds of Fortnite Hacker. The thumbnail is someone getting, you know, three headshots in a row. But if you look at the time, it's 10 minutes and 4 seconds. 5 minutes, 48 seconds, 10, 10 minutes, what? Now, this is fishy. Let me click on this video. So it starts off with clips. I'm pretty glad. Most of the time with these videos, they start off with a giveaway or an annoying intro with dubstep that was released in 2014. Okay, this is actually not going to be as bad as I thought. A good four minutes of this video is this girl spectating the hacker, supposed hacker that killed her. And then the rest of the hacks are just different clips. There's like two more, three more clips of people hacking in Fortnite. Now, the title 
title says five minutes and 48 seconds of Fortnite Hacker. So you would think the video would be, you know, five minutes and 48 seconds. Well, that's wrong. After five minutes and 48 seconds, I shouldn't have spoke too soon. There's actually a giveaway. Really? In, in the middle of your video? <sighs> Now, I wouldn't be as mad if someone did a real giveaway, but this is fake, and it leads me to believe 100% that this is fake, and here's why. Huge giveaway, 10,000 V-Bucks. <laughs> Nobody gives that away. To participate in this giveaway, you must subscribe to Royale Clips. D don't do that, please don't do that. I mean, you guys watch their videos, just, just don't subscribe, please. Like and comment on any video, and turn on notification, not notifications, like turn on notification. Now, what went wrong here? Well, the fact that they say like the video, you can't tell if someone likes your video at all. The only way you could find out if someone liked your video if they have their Twitter connected to YouTube and have it set to where they tweet out, I liked a video from at and your at. If you don't have a Twitter, if they don't have a Twitter, if they don't have their thing set up to tweet that automatically, which some people and a lot of people don't have all of those steps, you're not going to figure out who liked the video. So don't ask that. They're just hungry for likes. And then it says turn on notification. I'm pretty sure they mean post notifications, not like notifications on your phone. Anyway, turn on notification. I could comment on this video and say I did all this and not do it. And they wouldn't know because there's no way to figure out who turned on post notifications. The only way you can figure it out and this is not a completely foolproof plan, you can ask them to comment, I did it, in the comments, and you're going to have to take their word for it. There's no thing that you can look up in your analytics that shows you that someone turned on post notifications. That just doesn't work. Uh, I want you guys to like the video. I can't see that. I want you guys to subscribe. If you don't do that, um, then you can't join the giveaway. Turn on the notification. I can check, so make sure you do it because I'm watching. You can't do that. Now, you would think after that giveaway, it's over, you know, blah, blah, blah. The rest of the video, remember, is stretched to 10 minutes. Oh, I'm about to have nightmares about this 10-minute mark, dude. Like, if a video is, like, 11 minutes, 12 minutes, I get it. I mean, that's fine to me. I don't know. I feel like it's not stretched if it's over 10 minutes. But if it has anything within the 10 range, it's just... Ugh. So, the rest of the video is just filler clips of streamers gameplay okay that was horrible it's probably not gonna get worse than that that was stretching the video hard kind of clickbaiting and you know adding in unnecessary giveaways in the middle of the video that is just not good now we've talked about two pretty bad channels and I want to kind of stray away from the negative and check out a very nice channel that actually posts very good videos and are in this genre of posting Fortnite streamer clips and stuff like this. It's actually Red Arcade. I used to use their gameplay in the background of my videos when I didn't play this game, but now as you can see, I'm using my own gameplay. Now if you go and watch one of their videos, they actually edit it and it's actually fun. If BCC trolling showed myth falling off of a sky base and dying, it wouldn't really be that funny, but if Red Arcade were to add that into one of their videos, it would be funny because all of their videos seem to be funny. I mean, they add in sound effects and pictures and subtitles as to when somebody's talking in one of the certain person's parties and just overall good edits make these videos way better and way more respectable. Now, I want you guys to check out a short clip of what I'm talking about because these clips are actually pretty well edited. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? Um, like I said, they're way better than what you've seen so far with BCC or Royale clips, five minute, 48 seconds of Fortnite hacker, turn on notification, bull crap. So once again, go ahead and check out Red Arcade if you want to watch some good Fortnite clips. Now, I was going to end the video here, but I found a really, really, really bad channel. And this one is even worse than the turn on notification channel. The most generic thing to pretty much search up if you want to watch some Fortnite funny moments and stuff, I usually just search up Fortnite clips. I mean, personally, I don't really watch these that often. If I do, I go ahead and watch Red Arcade because I can trust them that it's going to be pretty well edited and really funny. Now, we need to talk about this horrible, horrible channel I found. So, yeah, like I said, whenever you want to watch Fortnite funny moments, you just search up, you know, Fortnite clips. And there's a channel called Fortnite clips that ranks first whenever I search up Fortnite clips. It might be different for you for where you live and stuff. It's just different everywhere pretty much, but... When I search up a Fortnite clips, this channel comes up before any other video. Now, you would think they'd be good because they rank first for a pretty hot keyword. You look at their videos and it says, new mounted turret weapon is insane. <laughs> it's not even out. <laughs> 
New mounted turret in Fortnite is OP. Yesterday. It's not even in the game. Okay, I'll give it to him. They probably added in, you know, gameplay of it leaked, killing someone and showing off the time to kill and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and check this out and, you know, see how fast it kills because it says it's insane. So let's watch this. Oh, I was skipping through the video and I had to have a keen eye, but 229 into the video, they show a picture of what literally everyone can see. It says mounted turret. Place a mountain turret and hop in to apply some suppressive fire. Careful not to overheat. They show this screen for six seconds and then play other streamers clips. What? Bro, the news says it's coming out soon. It's insane, dude. Okay. Well, I mean, it says it's insane and I guess that doesn't mean there's going to be gameplay because, I mean, it is insane. It looks insane and it's insane to me why they are putting this into the freaking game but another video new mounted turret in fortnite is op this has to show gameplay right i mean if it's overpowered if you think it's overpowered without even using it once then it has to be op Two minutes and 22 seconds in, they show the same picture. And it says, new turret. For five seconds, they showed the picture again. What are they doing? This is weird. The title literally says it's OP. And the only thing we saw as proof of it being OP is the description. What? This channel is horrible and it gets worse. Trust me. If you thought that was clickbait, listen to these video titles. New silent shotgun now in Fortnite. Don't remember that at all. New insane air vehicle found in Fortnite. There's, there's no planes in the game. New OP sniper found in Fortnite. What? New insane storm syringe found in Fortnite. Fortnite. You can't make this stuff up. There's no syringe in this game. I have to see one of these. That syringe just seems too good to be true. Let me let me find this out. Can I see clips of this syringe or not? So at 1.55, they show a picture for five seconds of a concept. A concept. Someone made a syringe item picture. It's a concept. Nowhere in the title or description does it say it's a concept made by a fan. New insane storm syringe found in Fortnite. It wasn't found in Fortnite. It was found on Reddit. I can't believe this. This is the epitome of horrible channels. This might be the worst channel on YouTube. Scratch Ghost Ninja and add Fortnite clips to where his name was because I'm pretty sure this is even worse than Ghost Ninja. Let me know what you guys think about all these channels. How do you feel about BCC trolling? How do you feel about Red Arcade? How do you feel about Fortnite clips and how do you feel about notification royale clips five minute 48 seconds of Fortnite hacker but yeah thank you for watching another meat video if you want to go ahead and watch more i have one more video on this topic it was meat ghost ninja and that video definitely did very very well so you guys probably did enjoy it thank you for watching if you did go ahead and subscribe i'll catch you guys later peace out running your mouth i have my young niggas running your house you could be that for the sun even now bitch you go mobbing no tongue me down they funny me now they see me like wow niggas that hit it gon' wanna be down running your mouth i have my young niggas running your house you could be that for the sun even now hey designer about holding my pants up this money gon' call on my answer I